England and Bangladesh. Never mind what lies ahead for them. At the moment, these are the two teams who will clash next. And it's a very strange old record that England have against Bangladesh in the World Cup. This is happening in Cardiff. It's match number 12. Now, if you have a look at the history, you'd think, yes, not only have we said Bangladesh are not the team, we're not talking about upsets anymore, but the record itself, they have a better record in recent times. Uh, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. I think, and this is an England side though, actually, you know, you have to look at England pre-2015 and post-2015. They've been a very, very different side and I don't know why from about 99 to 2015, they've been the most average one-day side ever. They've never played attention. Maybe that whole change in focus, Trevor Bayless came and they said, okay, one white ball cricket is where the world is going, we're going to go that way. And I think their record is better after that. Bangladesh have just been improving steadily throughout. Would you attribute that old England versus New England to their two losses to Bangladesh in 2011 and 2015? Well, first and foremost, uh, you have to see what what kind of conditions they will be playing tomorrow's uh, game under, and that's something which is uh, which is not really a great news for for Bangladesh fans and Bangladesh team because they're playing in Cardiff. So Cardiff in this World Cup so far has been uh, one of the toughest wickets uh, to bat on, and and uh, from Bangladesh's point of view, it's very important that they put runs on board. You know, so if, uh, that's what has been working for them against South Africa also. The important thing is they went past that 300 mark and then they have the resources to, to defend that kind of total. So, so similar kind of uh, necessity from this match also will be there uh, as far as Bangladesh team is concerned. Whether they will be able to do that or no, that is the question. Uh, and uh, the kind of bowling attack which, uh, which England has. You know, we'll have to see what kind of combination they play, whether Plunkett comes back or or they stick to uh, Wood and use those uh, those bounces and all that. That we'll have to wait and uh, and, and and see tomorrow what uh, what will be on display. But nonetheless, this uh, this Cardiff wicket will support the seamers. You know, so that's something which uh, which Bangladesh will have to plan around. You know, they'll have to have their strategies, they'll have to have their game plans around how you're going to tackle if there is uh, there is going to be C movement, the lateral movement, what kind of tactics England will be going in with. Because from their last game against Pakistan, one thing is for sure, they, they've understood that, you know, a, a predictable kind of uh, strategies are not going to work, you know. So they have to uh, get that balance going as well in terms of uh, thinking wickets and finding a way of picking up wickets rather than just uh, going with that one-dimensional uh, uh, strategy where you say that okay Asian teams uh, not uh, not very good against short ball and you know let's just pepper them with the with the short ball you got to have that right balance because at times you know when as a batsman you are on the back foot thinking about the the delivery coming here you you miss the which balls uh, which which are pitched up and uh, what is important is to take those wickets so if if they have that kind of approach and uh, do their homework nicely which i'm sure they will uh, they will do uh, because England is one of the best teams in the World Cup, so I don't think uh, they're going to have a series of, of failures. I think you know that that one failure which has come very early in the tournament from a team which they were expected to uh, to beat goes a long way in the tournament because now it's just like a wake-up call. Okay, you can't take things for granted. You have to uh, stick to the basics, follow the processes, and the uh, the the match is not over till the time it's over. So make sure you go out there and do the job. Geographical reminder again for all of you, the match today in Bristol was washed out and Cardiff is not very far away from Bristol. It's a full low pressure front that has moved up from Paris and uh, that's where it was disrupting the early part of the latter part of the French Open and now of course that's cleared. So there could still be a bit of rain around so there's even a suggestion that while Plunkett did make way for Wood, it may not be necessarily the other way around. They could even think of Plunkett Fadel Rashid. No, exactly. That's That was my point. My point was that if there's so much seam happening out there, England plays with a straight plan and they've used Adil Rashid very successfully, especially in the end overs using a leggy. They've used him well. But under these conditions, a fourth fast bowler, especially against a side like uh, you know Bangladesh, who's more used to playing in very, very different conditions. You don't have too many players who play county cricket or very experienced in this kind of swinging, seaming, overcast conditions. I would definitely look at Adil Rashid and I would like to see England make, as I said, a change, horses for courses kind of change because, you know, right now they're playing this very set plan. Okay, these are bowlers, this is what we have, these two, Mohin Ali and Adil are going to bowl and this is how we do, this is the six bowlers we go with. I'd like to see them get in an extra fast bowler maybe and take their chances because that's, that's how they need to do it and see the point is, they can't afford to slip up. 
I think Bangladesh will be looking at saying we are the underdogs, let's give it a shot. These are not our conditions. So, Bangladesh is going to play more freely than England is. England will have to say this is a must win for us. Under these conditions, we are the favourites, we've got to win it. Yes, so, so we'll just call it as favourites and underdogs. We're not saying it's going to be an upset if Bangladesh were to win. We'll keep saying that. <laughs> How long are you going to keep <laughs> We doing? have to keep saying it. Well, when is your visa application? At least, you know, let's finish it off after that. I'll do it. Done. <laughs> Done. Well, once, once that comes through. But let's look at it from Bangladesh's point of view because, uh, again, they've had a good balance. That's what we've talked about throughout. Uh, in the past, maybe they would have been utilising a lot more on spin. There is still Shakib Hassan, there's still Mehdi Hassan Miraj. But, and Mossadegh has been an, a revelation as, as the third spinner. He's come in, he's been an all-rounder, but they, their pace trio of Mustafizur, the ageing Mashrafi Mortaza and uh, Saifuddin have been impressive enough. No, no, they have and I mean Mashrafi, you know, with those knees, you know, for the longest time he's had those dodgy knees, but he's been marvellous for them and I wouldn't be surprised though again if they also play that extra fastball. Rubel. Rubel, play Rubel, he's got a bit of pace to him, he's got something to him. Saifuddin, Rubel, Mashrafi and said, okay, let's take our wickets and let's try at least because, you know, Mashrafi can do a little bit with the ball and uh, Let's see where they go from there. Would you be happy with uh, in, including Rubel in there? Well, uh, we'll have to see whether they are okay to do that kind of change because I think the conditions are going to demand that. And and the fact that you are mentioning that Cardiff is close to Bristol and then it will be similar kind of conditions. If if there is rain around in uh, in in England and overhead conditions are supporting uh, seam bowling, there will be a lot of help and uh, uh, and and to uh, to make use of that you know they'll have to make that tactical change so you know so this is this is going to fall under the tactical change side of it and and as a team management you have to be open to doing that i mean there are two ways of of of, of going about it saying that okay this is the playing 11 this is what has worked for us but they were playing in london okay it was oval where they had success where traditionally you've seen that spinners have played a part now here if if seamers you've seen it with sri lanka as well you know they had to uh, make that change in the second game. They didn't. They were reluctant to make that change in the first match, but when they played that first match, they understood that okay, you know, this is the requirement of of the condition what's on offer. So I think Bangladesh should uh, should look for that uh, extra seam option for sure uh, going forward in tomorrow's match.